Good afternoon, everybody. Stunning conditions greet us at Homebush in the heart of Sydney's Olympic Park, playing temporary home to Arpia Leichhardt this afternoon as they host fellow heavyweights, Sydney United 58, in round 10 of the MPL New South Wales men. Gap on their old rivals. Recovery after a slow start. Steadied last weekend with that loss late on that I mentioned against Rockdale. A win would bring them within two points of their opponents today. Easy to pick out. Flastily so I don't know if it was meant for Hatch, but he's managed to chase it down. And now he's in a crossing position. Another dangerous one fired in. And Aidan Milicevic is on the end of it. One winger to the other. And Sydney United have the early advantage. Toss before the game. It's a dangerous ball in again. And there's a chance on the, well, half clearance. And Bailey Rule, who, preparation for this afternoon, was Sydney United's terrific record away at up here. Of course, most of those games, in fact, all of them have been played at Lambert Park. But they have nothing to fear facing up here over the last few years away from home. And that's always doubled their lead. Given all the time he wanted inside the box. And you don't need to afford that. To Patrick and tell me for him to find the back of the net. Number 22, Stefan de Robillard. Number 17, Matthew Nikolovsky, the reserve goalkeeper, as Armson fires for the second. Samalo was across to cover and then one back by De Oliveira. Sloppy giveaway from Askew. And tell me all alone. It gets better and better for Sydney United 58 and Patrick and tell me here to try and unpick the lock. They're trying to do that through Askew down the right. He's got further and further forward as this half has worn on. That's a decent ball for Gibson and beaten away by Carr. Uh, Arby is 19-1 win over Hazelbrook in the week. Nakamura, they're not having quite as much fun this afternoon. Backhand. Puts the cherry on top of a brilliant first half performance from Sydney United 58. Striding forward. They couldn't add a fifth, could they? Oh, and tell me he's in space again. Oh, what a wonderful save from Bizarros. Keeps them in it. One of the saves of the season from Anthony Bizarros. Stretching all the way with his leg. With some assistance from the post. But the Sydney United fans are in full voice, and why wouldn't they? If two teams heading in different directions at the moment, perhaps not the directions we thought they might at the start of the afternoon. But as it stands, Sydney United are going to make a big, big leap back towards their old rivals up here. Play with so much quality, who you expect to make a pass like that, turning it over. And now they're open at the back. They're lining up Nakamura and Telmi. Nakamura will go himself and make it five for Sydney United. In this big, Stewart, first real touch. And already finding Jordan, the two substitutes combined to win up here a penalty kick. Yellow card for Kalats. Rather different circumstances here this afternoon. But that form will be nice for confidence. No mistake there from Jack Stewart. And now De Robillard might look to line up. Instead, he looks for Milicevic. On the one two, found its way through. Aiden Milicevic, good save from Bazanis. Back to Antelmi. Bazanis will look to stretch his legs. We've seen his pace in evidence plenty of times. The ball into Antelmi, who looking for three. A bit more than his op opponents there. De Robillard continuing the attack. Running at Askew, it's De Robillard. Palmed away by Bazanis again. As Danny Horstead brings a brilliant afternoon for Sydney United 58 to a close. Four first half goals, two to Patrick Anselmi. And one each to Matt Hatch. A bullet from the edge of the area after Aidan Milicevic got the soaring start.